All right, well, uh, we, we may have found a potential car for me to buy after looking for a little bit of time after I sold my E36. So we're gonna go check it out. It's a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but. Yeah, it's it, a lot nicer than all the other ones you've got. Way, and way at. nicer, yeah. Hopefully when we go in there, we're gonna check it out and maybe get some footage. But if he's not cool with it, then we're just gonna throw yeah, some we'll, photos in. Yeah, you'll see a bunch of pictures and other footage of it if it ends up being the car that Dylan puts a deposit on. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. Like Dylan's, you, I mean, you haven't had the best luck like with no. cars in the last little while. Like you haven't really owned something that's been like nice to own and like a good experience and no I mean, not at all i think the goal here is just to get you into like something 80s and japanese it's a little more forgiving a little easier to work on and like i don't know just something you can enjoy driving and actually like do the fun stuff like put coilovers on it put wheels on it not like always worry about like weird fuses and wiring and just dumb bullshit yeah. like that no it'll be cool i'm excited yeah. for you man i think it's if it's it's about damn time you got into something like this yeah for sure all right well let's go check it out yeah Josh. Hey there. You guys might recognize Josh from the uh, Barn Find GTR yep, yep. video. Um, there should be a part two soon, right? Soon. soon. Yeah, we're just getting some parts in order. We're getting there. Even in the beans! Go! Dude, I'm pedaling the fucking floor right now. <laughs> what do you think? It's dusty. It's dusty. We'll wash it. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, you. Can, you. can you not be excited about it? Oh, man. Dude, I'm so stoked right now. Yeah, first things first, this needs to get painted black. We'll probably take that bumper to Aki and we're going to paint it black because this is not, that's not right. That's not the way these are supposed to be. It's supposed to match the black hatch. But uh, yeah, we'll do that right away. Pretty fucking dusty. But yeah, we're gonna take it to a car wash. I think the interior is pretty mint. Oof. Thanks. All right. Well, I actually haven't uh, driven this car at all, so this will be my first drive. I'm pretty pretty stoked. fucking speed bump no problem check this out oh yeah dude what the fuck is there just a random ass dog over here dude i saw a random dog i'm not tripping out there he is dude what the fuck dude what the fuck who's dog it's slow and it's fun and it's comfy right on man yeah, it was good. awesome to see you driving it comes out for not work stuff for the next four years. Yeah, she'll be uh, parked away for a while. Maybe I'll crash it inside my garage, you know, we'll see. Decent, another rebuild just for fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 
that. He's like, you can't we, prepare to fight. Yeah, but fucking. We weird. picked up. We picked up sandals. Hey, what? Now we're at this uh, model shop that Dylan has been hyping up the last little bit, and we're gonna see if we can find him a model Sleeka Supra. So that'll yeah, hopefully we can find that. Oh, so so sick. Stop it. That is that is Does so it come cool. The <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I think I have that. I'm West Archery for What is see? this? Like a K truck? Oh, Stop it! <gasps> shave ice, <gasps> what? Shave ice, K truck. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's, it's a sashimi! That's cheap. Yo, 40 yeah. bucks? It comes with the bitch bag! <laughs> <laughs> Christian needs to get that. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, Instagram story. Takihiro. That's fucking that cool. Kind of how much is that one? <laughs> huh? How much? It is yeah. $55.99. Six is pretty cool, too. Is that a oh, it's got an N1 kit on it. I want to buy one of these and one of these and like put them together to oh, make a glue? GTST. Glue. I've never seen this car before. I need someone to mansplain what this car is because I've never seen it this car. It looks like it has an NSX front. It looks like an NS, like a Nissan it's not NSX. An NSX. I've never back. seen this in my life. 211, that's so sick. Look, look. Oh, that's cool. Secret R34. Yo. Second of all, police R32. You're not getting all that. <laughs> You're going to spend your life savings, dude. Please. That's so cool. That. You have this? Yes, I'm halfway through it. It's really hard to glue this. That's so funny. You can finally buy friends. I can finally have some friends Campus at school. Friend set with smartphone and three quarter helmet. Yeah. <laughs> it's got horses and shit. What is that horse? Yeah, it is horses and shit. Look at these horses, man. <laughs> Is it a police car or is it a uh, no way, dude? That's a it's like Marshall a Marshall car. Yeah, like a here, 240Z with uh, some sort of like over fender kit on it. Really cool. Was, uh, That's Warp cool. Ikea on Instagram. We love Warp Ikea. Like this is checkpoint on his like car. Yeah, like the sticker that says Bridgestone right yeah. there, and then he the sticker that says Bridgestone there. He put the word checkpoint, but like in Bridgestone style. That's so cute. That's so random. Should be no Yeah. It what are you sounds using? like you just need. Yeah, but like, do I do? Would you use a spray can for this, or would you paint this? On this looks hand? like it's just. Just like like painted on with a brush. Mm -hmm. I also don't necessarily need to paint it this exact same color. No, you can do whatever. I could do color red, you want. and I could do silver for the wheels instead of gold because that would be cooler. What Hello Kitty R34 with the biggest wheels ever. I got this for the Moist Boys because they love huge wheels. Fuck, are you buying all that? My girl business. <laughs> I know that there's a difference between the TS and I'm pretty sure this is the one that you're supposed to use for the model cars. Because it's it like, down. if I were to put any away, it would probably be this one. The R31? Yeah, because I already have an R31 at home. Oh. But this one has active aero. Act auto spoiler. Auto spoiler. Mm. I'm probably not going to put it back. I'm probably <laughs> going to put it in. I'm all set, man. I got, I got my, I got my uh. Silady that I'm not going to paint blue. I'm going to paint it this pearl light red that's just a hot ass pink. Mm -hmm. And I've got some paints that I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to need, but maybe for like indicators and then yeah. this, this guy here for the taillights. Okay. And then black, if I need black to add trim details or paint tires or something like that. And then silver because we're going to paint the wheels silver because wheels are supposed to be silver. And then I've uh, got some nippers and I've got a X-Acto knife and I've got some brushes. And then I've got this uh, Hello Kitty Skyline to save my marriage. Cool. Yeah, I made the hard decision, but I already have a bunch of like just like regular cars, so I feel like I should get some cool custom cars. And these are gonna look crazy on my shelf. Yeah. You get painted in the same color, because that'd be really cool. Oh my god, imagine if they were little twins. Matching. And then I got some strong cement, because why not? So the owner of this store showed us that she made that beetle. And I told her that if if uh if I manage to make this Sylvia or this uh, Silady look anything as nice as that, I'll be so happy. But uh, we'll see. I'm kind of a, you know. <laughs> yeah. I already saw it, remember? Oh, yeah. But it looks better now that it's not under this much dust and that it's in your ownership and it's in my parkade. It definitely, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful getting all that dust and weird chemical stuff off was sick because now the paint looks excellent um i still don't know if it's red orange or brown i think it's red i think it's red i'm pretty sure it's red Ooh, look at that nice 
it's just because it's a it's like a reverse gentleman's car. It's like instead of like opening the door for your lady, you like make your lady like get in, crawl across, and open the door up for you. Sweet. So, Fire yeah. it up. The interior is gorgeous. This this is the biggest steering wheel I've ever seen in my life. 780 mil. Everything feels so good though, like the, the pedals, the clutch, the like brakes, how the yeah. brakes, yeah, how smooth the um oh, like God. even just like the, the steering wheel turns so smoothly and like and precise. Like I don't know, most eighties cars I've driven, usually the steering like feels like just total guesswork. Like yeah. it's like it's like soft and loose and like you don't know where anything is. Okay, so yesterday the whole like I guess it was like the blower motor was like whining like crazy. It was super fucking loud and like scary sounding. And then all of a sudden there was like a fucking explosion. It's like <laughs> pop and then boom, like look at this shit. Oh, is <clears> that <throat> what came out? Yeah, like all of this dust That's and like so shit funny. popped out. And then it works great now. So it's just backed up. Yeah, it was just backed up. So it was like me after Taco Bell. Yeah. Should put on some beats. Oh yeah. Oh. I can't, I can't wait for you to do those blast pipes that you bought off Cage. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, it's gonna be good. It should be pretty sick. You used to have an 80s toy though. I've had three AW11 MR2s, and each one was progressively better than the last. Like the first one was an absolute roach, and then the last one was like collectors played it and really meant. And I feel like a lot of people knew that car, like knew me through that car before I sold it and then bought the, the S14, but I love 80s Toyotas. This is a good road. Yeah. Yeah, that's a simple video today, but uh, we're stoked that Dylan has finally got this thing. It's been a couple weeks since like he uh, decided he was gonna buy it and then uh, picked it up last night and now we got to drive it around a little bit today, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, always fun to have a new new car that you're gonna see like regularly on the channel. You probably won't see tons of it because we're coming into winter here and it's gonna get parked for a bit, but uh, over the winter, I think Dylan's hoping to collect some parts for it that we'll uh, be able to film kind of the build progression. I think it's gonna end up having a bunch of Kaido Racer inspired elements to it. It'll be low, it'll get some wheels, it'll get a cool steering wheel and lots of other like little uh, knickknacks and stuff that kind of add some character to it. But for now, um, yeah, it's a great car. It's in awesome shape, it's super healthy. It was tons of fun to drive and it has a diff so it can chuck donuts. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for supporting Checkpoint. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep doing stuff like this and keep making videos about it. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, check out our store, show us. So show our channel to your friends and yeah, hopefully we see you around.